Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. I'm here today with Ruth Wilson um, for The Little Stranger. Mm -hmm. We're going to be talking about the book, about the film, and everything around it. I thought it might be nice um, if you could do a short intro on your character and kind of your character's role in the story. Okay, I'll do a little intro of the film mm -hmm. first. So it's set post-war England, um, post-Second World War. Um, and it's set in a family home called Hundreds Hall, which is a declining aristocratic home uh, of the heirs family. And there's a servant called Betty who's got ill and she calls in, they call in a local doctor called Dr. Faraday, played by Donald mm -hmm. Gleason. And then weird things start happening in the house. And the whole question of the film is whether these, there's a rational explanation for these goings on or is it supernatural? And my character is Caroline Ayres, I'm the daughter of the house. Um, we have a dead sister who died when she was about five years old and we think that she might be haunting the house. So Hundreds Hall is this amazing this setting. Oh, it's in the back, lovely. Yeah. It's almost kind of a character on its own, the it film is. is. Yeah. Is it a, a gothic a horror or, or thriller? Um, what do you think makes the atmosphere of it so special? There's a lot of uh, the camera work in the film really places an energy around the house itself mm -hmm. and there's lots of times when the characters exist in the house on their own or just there's images of the house on its own yeah. existing. So you feel like there's a presence that already exists that will be there when the family disappear and die and move on and that house will stay. Um, but like I said, it's in decline. So you feel it falling apart. You see the wallpaper coming off the walls. You mm -hmm. see the mold and the uh, dilapidation of the place. So it really gets a sense of history that people have lived there before, but it's kind of falling apart and, and breaking at the seams. But it's good to see the connection between the family and how they're doing and how, how the house is doing. And well, exactly. And it's, about, together, it's yeah. about class as well. So it's hmm. about the sort of decline of the aristocracy. And yeah. as that's in decline, the house is in decline. And Dr. Faraday represents the middle class, the sort of rise of that new class that are coming on to the forefront and earning money. And mm -hmm. at that time, there were loads of tax reforms, which meant that the landed gentry were being... Their money was being taken away from them. And they couldn't afford to keep up with the, exactly, the house. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The book and the film has many themes in it, and class is one of them. Did you do a lot of filming on location in, in that house? And was it ever um, does it ever get eerie on set as well when there's certain scenes? Or is it pretty much just hustle and bustle? No, the whole thing was done on set okay. in this yeah. house, which has now been turned into a hotel. Oh, really? So you can go Ooh, and you stay, can go stay there. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it did get eerie on set. I found the most scary part of it was actually in the big hallway. Mm -hmm. um, obviously a lot of things happen there for my yeah. character, but yeah. it's empty and it feels creepy. And it was, there were lots of corridors. It seemed to go on forever, this house. You could go down one corridor and find all these other little rooms, uh, which we didn't film in every room of the house, right. but we filmed in a lot of them. And a lot of it, empty spaces without furniture, without sort yeah, of places that the family is. And of course, yeah, they yeah. pump in like atmosphere smoke <laughs> and things, which make it feel a bit old. And, and the set designer did an amazing job Simon, he just, you know, the decor was incredible. So you've been in a book to film adaptation before. I have. I'm, I'm a massive fan of the adaptation of Jane Eyre that yeah. you were in as well. How do you approach a book to film adaptation? Do you approach it any differently than any other role? Do you like to read the book or do you kind of stay away from that? No, I love reading the book because I think for me it's like a Bible. It's full of things mm -hmm. that aren't on the screenplay and yeah. you can't possibly write in the, in the screenplay. So. It gives you loads of clues and the intention of what the writer wanted for this character and for this story. I mean, sometimes you have to move away from it and you always have to let go at some point because you can't possibly, you know, that a screenplay has to, you know, sort of manage or kind of con negotiate that book and yeah, shorten there's, it. Yeah, because there's such different exactly, things. Exactly, yeah. and has to decide exactly what it's mm -hmm. trying to say, which is different. So I feel that, I mean, I use it a lot and I get reference from it. And I ask Sarah Waters a lot of questions about yeah. my character because... She remains in part a mystery, I think. Um, so, yeah, I, lo I love having that there. So did you have a battered copy with lots of yes, notes and things in yeah, it? Yeah, and Jane Eyre was the same. And yeah. Small Island, I think it's, for me, it's, it's great. It's like a cheats book. It's like you can just go through and go, oh, yeah, that's yeah. what she meant. Okay. Do you, have you read any other Sarah Waters books? Because this one was one that I hadn't read before, but, uh, but I'd read Fingersmith. I'd read Fingersmith, but I hadn't, I'd seen the other adaptations. Mm -hmm. I mean, most of her work's been adapted, which is amazing. But um, yeah, Fingersmith was the only other one. Yeah. Um, and I, I found this, you know, times when you think, oh, I want to give up on this, but actually get, getting pulled back in. It's fascinating. Mm -hmm. And the layers are so deep. And then you're really intrigued by these characters. And by the end, like the film, I was really unnerved. Mm -hmm and something had got under my skin. It was odd. You're in, I think, a lot of 
maybe dark stories. You have a lot of very <laughs> complex characters that you've played before. Um, I saw Dark River last mm-hmm. year and absolutely love that as well. Um, and Caroline's an interesting character as yeah. well. When she, especially when she's described, I was just re-re- sort of like reading the beginning of the book, yeah. and she's described in quite a peculiar way yeah. by the Doctor. Um, what draws you to certain characters? Well, I personally don't think she's a very dark character. I think it's through the eyes of this individual mm-hmm. that, that makes her seem odd or uh, certainly makes her seem contradictory. Mm-hmm. It's the kind of way he sees her. It feels a bit uncomfortable when she's like, oh, she's... Yeah, I mean, it's very, it's very, and... like, fetishized. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think that's what's interesting about Sarah's writing and the way, through the eyes of this man, he's kind of looking at her image and he's attracted to this woman and he slightly fetishizes her her size and her manner and her walk Mm -hmm. and I mean it's in very specific detail it's really interesting yeah it's it's through his eyes that's where the complexity and for me playing was quite hard because sometimes you're thinking that's just his version of what he sees it's not really how she sees herself it's really how he sees her um but I you know it was fun for me the mystery at the heart of it and not knowing quite everything about her or not having it ever really um, her saying what she is sexually or mm-hmm. uh, what her ambitions are or drives are. Or, that's all quite ambiguous. Yeah, I found, so. it, I found it really nice to sort of try and figure that out in the film. Yeah. So obviously there's so much going on with the suspense and then yeah. trying to figure out the mystery and then trying to figure out the, the individual characters. Yeah. And that's what's so interesting about the film. It's kind of a very unique mix of genres. It doesn't stick... It's not just a horror... M- it's, not, mm. it's definitely not a horror movie, but <laughs> it's not just a ghost story or it's not just a drama. Yeah. It's kind of a mix of everything, and you as an audience are taken down different avenues, and one minute you are thinking, is this a ghost story? What's the... And next minute you're just involved in the relationship between Caroline and Faraday. Yeah, or... yeah, I love that about it. So I think it's it keeps you guessing, but it keeps you engaged in that way. Mm. Do you have any um, personal favourites when it comes to other gothic stories um, with that kind of setting, whether it's a film or a book or anything that you'd recommend? Jane Eyre's quite gothic, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, I I also love this is and this is a bit similar. It's mm. the Innocence, isn't it? The one that it's an old ghost story gothic okay. movie, and it's about some kids in a house and this nanny comes to look after them and it's all about is there a ghost there? That's it, this is quite similar ilk actually, uh, and this is a bit reminiscent also of like the others. Or something like that with yes. Nicole Kidman. Yeah, I thought no, it was a bit agree. like Grey Gardens as well. That's <laughs> why I liked it. I haven't it. seen that. Grey Gardens is a documentary in America. It's about these two old aristocratic mother and daughter who mm-hmm. live in a house. And it's de- in decline. <laughs> right. So, so And set they're up. completely mad and eccentric. And it's sort of like they just live it and have loads of cats and things. It's brilliant. So I, <laughs> I like got dream. some of my inspiration from that <laughs> <laughs> doing this. So my final question is, um, what would be your future dream Book to film adaptation to be. In. Oh my god! If you could pick I hate any those book, questions, <laughs> any book in the There's world. There's lots to choose from. Oh, but. have I just read? Oh, you know what I'd love to do is Tender as the Night. Okay. Beautiful book. Love to make that into a movie. It's been done before, but. Thank you so much for chatting with me. Thank um, you. Everyone go see the film. It is out on September twenty first. Mm-hmm. Dewey, lovely. Thank you Happy so much. To meet you. Have well done. Day. mind is playing tricks. Susan is a memory. It can all be explained. How innocent you are. This delusion seems almost contagious. Someone's playing games. It is generally women at the root of this stuff. There's something in this house that hates us. You do not belong here. Yeah.